this is my hair just put it in a ponytail this is a lazy day where i guess i just have mass tonight singing choir at mass tonight and um but nothing planned no going out or anything like that so we'll go outside and play in a minute and this is them eating lunch <laughs> So today we're having leftovers. Maddie wanted the leftover eggs and sausage and Jojo wanted the leftover chicken nuggets. And Margaret's eating some eggies. Yeah. It's a slow day. We did not do hairs today. As you can probably tell, Justine did some creative hair stuff. But it's just a slow and easy day. We're just kind of taking it off. We're gonna go outside and play in just a minute. So we painted these yesterday. Uh, we, painted, we painted these rocks yesterday and I decided that it was gonna to be too much of a mess. Um, so I needed something for them to wear when they were doing it. So I went to Walmart and grabbed these shirts. They're like a canvasy, thicker material. They're in the men's department. So these are going to be the girls' smocks so that we can paint more fearlessly in the future. It was going to be today, but I ended up doing too many chores. There was like too much cleaning to catch up on to even attempt at a messy craft project. It's like I can't even think about making another mess when I have like 50 other fires I'm trying to put out right now. So yeah, that's what I did today. Just kind of... Um, Took on all the toys that were that ended up in my room. I, I just I don't like when they play in my room. It's like I need one place. It's like my sanctuary. And so I went and I took all the toys out of my room and just did a quick tidying up of my room and making my bed and stuff like that this morning. Nothing major. Just a tidying up of the room. Um, Madeline did. She broke a lamp. I liked the lamp but I shouldn't have put it where it was. And it's been almost knocked over a million times and I should have known better, but it finally got knocked over today and broken. So I needed to pick all that up and vacuum that. So there's just like a lot of kind of chaos this morning. I just didn't feel like filming. So we're filming now and it's lunchtime. And um, so gotta catch up on everything I've cleaned since I didn't show you with the video. Um, but anyway, that's just that. So hopefully we'll, well, hopefully I'll remember to take some video of them playing, playing outside because it's a beautiful day and it's, it's almost warm out. It's almost warm. It's just so nice out in the sun. A little chilly in the shade, but perfect in the sun. We have some beautiful flowers in our flower bed. Aren't they so beautiful? I just forgot that I did do, I uh, did show like how I removed the chocolate stain from Madeline's dress, which I didn't touch since Saturday. So it's been like four days and I was like, oh, I should really do a video on that. <laughs> just kind of promised it. So um, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show that clip next. Of, uh, getting the ice cream, the four day old ice cream off of the dress. Yes, it came off. Okay, so here is how I get a stain out. And this is a four day old ice cream stain. I spray it and then I rub it, rub the cloth together. So it's already mostly out, you can see just from spraying it. So just rubbing it and then running it under more cold water and doing that however many times it takes until the stain is out. I do this with like every kind of stain there is. And if it's a greasy stain, I'll put like a dab of Dawn on that. Um, but really this is my whole method and obviously like if you catch it right away and you do it right away, it comes out for sure, for sure. Uh, four days later and it definitely came out. I'm going to throw it in the washing machine 
with a load of clothes and I use Tide. I prefer Persil. I just haven't gotten to Walmart to get it. Um, so that, that's just what I'm using right now. But I prefer Persil. And uh, so I always use cold water. I always use the most water possible because it just sloshes around better. All right, so here we pull it out. Now the stain was already off, so it's just really off now, no stain. Very happy about this. Throw it in the dryer, pull it out of the dryer. It looks great. However, there was a dress very similar to it I pulled out first and was shocked because there was a stain all over it. So I'm gonna do another video on how to get out uh, a stain after it's been set by the dryer. I didn't think it was possible, but we're gonna give it a try and try to get this out. So stay tuned for another episode of getting stains on a little kid's dresses, which is basically my life right now. And I'll see you in the next video.